when you are at in a nightclub, don't stick with just one chick the whole night. Six girls come up to me in one night. Six girls. <laughs> What's up, brodies? Welcome to The Bourbon Effect. My name is Tunji, and you already know what it is, so let's talk. Before I get into the video, if you have not hit that subscribe button, please subscribe for your boy. All right, we're working really hard trying to make you some good, unique, and aesthetic content. So, you know, that shit, there's, there's a lot of time and effort that gets into this. So if you wanna support me, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share on the video, and that would be greatly appreciated. I thank you guys for the support. Now let's jump straight into the video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about super high interest women. And the reason why this video is gonna be a little bit different from some of the other videos that you've seen concerning women and high interest is because this is super high interest. Super is the only word I can think of that could kind of like exaggerate maybe not exaggerate but kind of give into the point that i'm trying to make in this video okay and the reason why i'm making this video is because during new year's eve something happened to me that had never happened to me before and this is when i knew that i was that dude okay and super high interest is essentially when women will try to compete for you right in front of your eyes like multiple women now obviously it's not too overt you know women have a way of doing it to where they don't get embarrassed or anything like that but you can see exactly what's going on and other women can see too and i will get into that further in the video but the story i'm going to be telling you guys is essentially a new year's eve party that i went to and i kid you guys not i had like six girls come up to me in one night six girls now mind you i'm used to women coming up to me approaching me giving me choosing signals and things like that but the amount of women that came up to me this night was just like i was i was feeling myself okay but anyway let me let me just get into the story okay it was a new year's eve party all right and i'm gonna give you guys a perfect example of how you know you are a very handsome man how you know you are that dude okay i know not everybody can relate to this story but you can get there i believe you can get there so you can get there it was uh, new year's eve i was getting ready for a party now mind you i like being in comfy clothes i don't like always wearing like something that gotta like i like to wear comfy clothes that still looks somewhat aesthetic okay but when i go out when I dress up, I dress up. So I had my fresh lineup, beer was groomed, everything was groomed, had my fit on. I was looking good, I ain't even gonna lie. I meet up with my friend. Unfortunately, I was kind of the third will because you know one of our friends couldn't make it, something happened. So it was just me and he came with this girl, so I was kind of the third will. Five minutes into us getting in there, this girl approaches me, I'm at the bar, I wanna get some something to drink. She comes up to me, starts trying to start a conversation. She compliments what I'm wearing. I compliment her back. She got her girls in the back complimenting her. Yes! Yes, bitch! I find it so odd that they call themselves that, but <laughs> you know, to each his own. We have a conversation. We chatted up for like a couple minutes. And then eventually I was like, it's good talking to you. I'll probably see you on a dance floor type shit. We end the conversation there. Guys, let me not exclude the fact that I was also on shrooms. Yes, I, I am a shroom taker. I love taking shrooms. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. For me, when it comes to shrooms and music, it is like the perfect combination. All right, so I'm on shrooms that night. So I'm feeling extra good. And we eventually get on the dance floor. Luckily for me, my friend that I go out with, he also loves dancing just as much as we do. So we're dancing, everything's going good. I have one girl come up to me. She was like, hey, I think you're really attractive, blah, blah, blah. She wasn't necessarily my type. I compliment her back. You know, I continue dancing. She continues doing her thing. 
Now, where the story gets interesting is that we're probably like 45 minutes into it. We've already been dancing, drank a little alcohol, um, and we're just vibing. You know, I'm, I'm vibing with my, my guy, his girl. I'm cool with this girl too. So we're all just having a great time. Mind you, I would start to separate myself so I wouldn't look like I was dating his girl or nothing like that. So I would just kind of do my own thing and dance by myself. I am very in tune with myself, very confident, so I don't mind being to myself, dancing, having a good time. I know with the type of energy that I, uh, I protrude, it, it attracts people, okay? So I'm dancing, having a great time. There is this cute girl, mind you, she is, she's fine. She's like right in front of me, I'm dancing, she's dancing right in front of me, and she's doing this purposely for me to see her, right? And she wants me to come talk to her. Now, like I said, I'm on shroom, so I see it, but I just don't care, because I'm just having so much of a good time dancing. She's, she's right there, and you know, in my mind, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself like, yo, I'm gonna I'm probably go dance with her in a second. I have this other girl that is in front of me, right? She's in front of me, and I still have this one girl right here. We're all dancing, we're having a good time. Guys, I kid you not, the girl who was in front of me all the way over here, not the one that I was just talking about, but another girl, she sees this girl dancing by me, trying to come to me little by little so I can dance up on her. It, just in case if you guys don't know, one of the choosing signals when you're out in a club or anything like that, if a woman wants you to dance with her, she will slowly start to position herself in front of you. So that is essentially what she was doing. And before I could get to it, there's this other girl who noticed me and noticed her. What this girl begins to do, guys, she begins to dance as well, right? But she begins to slowly move back. The girl is still right here. She begins to slowly move back. You know what she does? She does this. She slowly moves back, little by little, until, until she gets in front of the other girl. She's right here. The other girl's right here. Guys, she dances and begins to move herself back towards me, and she begins to push the other girl away not physically but she keeps dancing backwards so it is forcing this girl who is right here to slowly move back this girl is trying to push this other chick out of the way so she can dance with me and i'm sick yeah they squabbling out there now yeah and i'm seeing this i'm seeing this happen right in front of me i'm just like damn it's like that, like, I have girls come up to me, try to dance with me, but tonight, this girl, she, she was on a mission. She was dancing slowly to the point where she started to push this girl back and that girl conceded. And eventually that other girl came so close to me to where I was like, fuck it. Hey, I respect it. She know what she wanted. She pushed the other chick out of the way and me and her begin to dance. So I'm dancing with this girl for about 15, 20 minutes. A rule that you always want to remember, guys, is that when you're at in a nightclub, don't stick with just one chick the whole night. Because a lot of girls try to do this where they'll try to dance with you. If they find you attractive, they'll try to dance with you, hang out with you because they want you to give them the attention, just them the attention the whole night because they know other women are eyeing you. So they don't want you to get distracted and go to those other women. So they'll try to stick with you the whole night so they can get all the attention. Don't do that. What I did after like 15, 20 minutes, I was like, yo, I'm gonna be back up with my friend. It was nice dancing with you. I go back to hang out with my friend. I look for him, be like, oh yeah, shit, what's up, bro? We're, we're, we're off the shits, all right? Like we're, we're responsible. Like we're not the type to, you know, be crazy and act all weird and shit. Like, it's not our first rodeo, you know, we're, we're used to taking some of this stuff. So, but we're having a fucking great time. I would leave and I'd meet up back with them and be like, yo, what's up, buddy? Like, it was, it was a fucking great time. So I go back to do my thing again. And I have this one girl come up to me and she was just like, Hey, um, and meanwhile, I'm just dancing by myself. 
she's like hey like are you single blah 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 i see you dancing with that one girl and i was like no nah, yeah yeah I'm, I'm single yeah what's up and she was like yeah my friend thinks like you're so cute she was too shy to come up to you so i came up for her and she said she wants to dance with you, you should come dance and I was just like, I mean, you could tell her to come here. Like, why, why, why I gotta go all the way over there? And she was like, really? Like, please, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, fine, all right? But on a normal day, I would have been like, nah, tell her to come here. But, but I was off the shroom, so I was like, I don't even give a fuck. I seen the girl and she was, she was bad too. She was like a five, four black girl, chocolate skin, mm. Fine. I still got on my Instagram. I even it's a long story with that one. But me and her end up dancing for like 15 minutes. I get her Instagram. I got that other girl's Instagram as well, too. And there is to get some water. And there's another girl that comes up to me. She's like, hi, I just want to say I thought you were cute and blah blah. And this and that. And I was like, thank you. Like you look good yourself. She was like, you know, I wasn't too like crazy about her, but she was like, yeah, you should like get down my number, blah, blah, blah. I kid you guys not, I put down, she was like, you should take my number. She puts her number in my phone and then saves it and then takes a picture of herself. And she was like, so you don't forget my face, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. And I end up, <laughs> after that, I end up like walking away, you know, she's trying to get my attention and everything. And she can tell like, I'm not trying to like stick there. And she was getting offended. Now, this is another thing that I also want to say. When you have women who are highly interested in you and you're kind of giving them that energy to where it's just like, yo, like I can't, I can't be here too long. Like you cute, but you know, I got other things to do. They cannot stand that shit. Because they know, she knows that I got options. She's probably seen me dance with some other girls over there. But for her, she wanted to take all that attention. She wanted me to just talk to her. And when I didn't want to just stick with her for like well, however long she wanted me to be there, I could tell she started to get pressed a little bit. And this is what happens when you have abundance of options, guys. To so the point where you know you got the options, and you're talking about one chick and you don't want to give her all the attention she starts to get frustrated like this he thinks he's all that like really you don't want to hang out with me they're not used to that they are not used to this and where i want to go with this is when you are attractive to the point where you are attracting certain women when these women start to throw choosing signals at you, other women can see these women throwing choosing signals at you. And from there, it just catches their attention. They've probably already seen you, but now because they're watching you, they can see what other women are doing, trying to get your attention. And that's when the hive mind kicks in, all right? And now they're trying to come and compete for your attention. They're trying to come and dance with you. They're trying to get to try to talk to you. They're gonna be doing so many different things, guys. In high interest, man, you feel like you're that dude. You feel like you're that dude because you are. I mean, that shit wouldn't be happening to you if you weren't, right? But guys, the reason why I told you that story was because it wasn't to boast to you guys on how much women I can attract or you know how I have women competing for me or anything like that. I told you the story because I know that you can do it too. I didn't get like this overnight. Five years ago, if, if, if someone was to tell me that I could attract women in that way, I would probably not believe them. Because I struggled with women to a point, I think 25 was around the age where I started to attract more women, but maybe in the years earlier than that. If you were to tell me that I was attracting women on that scale, I wouldn't have believed you. But considering all the things that I went through up until now, I can confidently say I'm not fucking surprised anymore. I know I'm that dude. I'll walk and hold myself like I am, but not like I'm better than the next man. I don't do that. I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. I just know my worth and what I stand for. And I know that you guys can do the same thing, but you have to stay focused. You have to stay dedicated. 
the times where your friends are out partying and drinking and all that stuff while you are focusing on your regimen and doing what you got to do to get that body that you've been working hard for do it continue it yes you may not be having as much fun as they are having but you have that vision for yourself you see the bigger picture they don't People are never going to see your vision until you make it come to life. So let them do what they want to do while you are focusing on what you need to do. Your life does not revolve around women, but obviously this is a channel where we talk about women a lot. And I know a lot of you guys want to learn how to attract more women, talk to more women. This isn't to say that you're not going to face struggles with women or face the, the normal things that most guys will struggle with when it comes to women as far as just you know, terrible personalities and, you know, them looking for certain money and stuff like that. I'm not saying like you're not going to struggle with that because realistically you may come encounter with that, but not all women are like that. You're still going to face these issues, but now you have the options to where you don't have to tolerate that anymore. If she's acting up, if you're with a chick who doesn't want to follow your purpose that you've set for yourself, then bye i'm gonna talk to the next girl it's as simple as that now you have a little bit of a workaround now you have something to work with okay but you're not gonna get there sitting on your ass feeling sorry for yourself smoking weed all day i'm not gonna say like i smoke but i don't come on here promoting it because it's a vice of mine I do it when I feel like I need to de-stress or, you know, reward myself after a long, hard days of work. But you should know how to contain that. Don't be contempt. Don't be complacent. That's I get what I meant to say. Don't be complacent. Focus on the goal at hand. And eventually, when you've worked so many years working on yourself, believe me, you're going to attract the very thing you've always wanted without even trying, without even trying. I promise you, bro. I know it sounds very um, cliche. And I used to think the same thing when I'd constantly hear it. But I believe me, when you walk in a room, when you walk in a room and people are looking at you is because you carry that certain energy with you. you carry that confidence you have that aura of a fucking man you can get that but it doesn't come overnight so always remember boys stick to the plan keep your eyes on that goal keep chasing that dream even when you feel like you don't want to anymore even when you feel like you want to give up keep fucking chasing it because those days where you don't want to do it are the most important days to do it. All right, brodies. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know what it is. Bourbon Effect out. Peace out.